Welcome to Audio Tree Live. The date is Friday, February 26th, and we are so thrilled to have in the studio live with us Waco Brothers. Take it away, gents. <laughs> studio with Waco Brothers. Uh, today marks the release of your guys' first album in, is it almost 11 years now, first studio album? Some might say 11 years. <laughs> Others might say not. Feels like 100 years. <laughs> you look good for a 100-year-old. You all do. Thank you. Or I guess you'd be over 100. I've had a very easy life. <laughs> uh, what's your secret to longevity? Uh, yogurt. Yeah, yogurt? Mm. What about the rest of you guys? Yogurt. <laughs> Cashews. Yogurt with honey. Yeah. Tequila. Ah. And tequila. Yeah, if you're honest. Yogurt with honey, cashews, and tequila. Um, beyond playing a show tonight, you guys are, are playing a uh, Fitzgerald's, right, in Berwyn. Um, how are you celebrating the release of the album? Uh, by going to Fitzgerald's in Berwyn. <laughs> Nothing beforehand? I'm getting up really early and coming over Hats, here. Hats, balloons, streamers. Rugby. Yeah. <laughs> we might go and watch Wales play rugby this afternoon as well. Watch it. Uh, you know what? When you said whales play rugby, I thought whales like the marine <laughs> mammal. Not. No, it's an amazing yeah. aqu- yeah. aquatic I said the sport. shared aquarium. It's been all week. It's going to be in the next Olympics. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I, I was they're playing the they're playing the stingrays or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll, they'll crush them. They'll play the belugas after. Well, I guess yeah. belugas are whales. So. Belugas are whales. Yeah, yeah the I, dolphins yeah. would be next. Yeah, I think so. I think if it was beluga and beluga and dolphin oh. are a similar size, so I think that would work Being out well. Have a fair game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the album is called "Going Down in History." Uh, if you could have your druthers, how would you prefer Waco Brothers to be remembered historically? Um, that's a really tough question. Having a good time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Any other answers? Possibly, are... <laughs> yeah. To quote the great Spinal Tap, <laughs> Viv Savage, the keyboard player from Spinal Tap, is our guru. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just uh, I always thought that we were very straightforward, mm-hmm. non-pretentious band that you, you could take anyone to go and see, and it wouldn't, you know, 
wouldn't need any great explanation. I think that's a good a good note to go into a next song on. Uh, you guys want to give us another one? Uh, yeah, this is uh, from the new album. It's called Building, Building Our Own Prison. Watching Audio Tree Live, we are here in the studio with Waco Brothers. Uh, the song you just played, Building Our Own Prison, relies heavily on an onomatopoeia. Am I saying that right? Onomatopoeia. Did you guys try out any other um, sound lyrics when coming up with Tic Tac, Clackety Clack? We axed flip flop, bip bop, bippity bop. Not much levity to that. No. There was some question about whether Tic Tac was actually sponsoring a product, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I say go for it. We thought we'd go with it anyway. Yeah, you should go for it. I mean, you could get some, some good money, some good sponsorship. Um, you're about I to thought tack as in tacky. Tag, know? like T-A-C-K. And they were all made out of ticky tacky. It was like a reference to <laughs> oh, I see. great folk song we used to listen to on Ed Stewart's Junior Choice on Radio Radio 1. Well, it shows how far And they're all found. made out of ticky tacky. <laughs> ticky tacky, flippy flappy. Do you think it's sad that most people think of, when they hear Tic Tac, they think of the refreshing breath mint now? Well, we're hoping for um, sponsorships. Yeah. Well, you're about to play South by Southwest. God knows we need them. <laughs> and the Tic Tac maybe has a showcase at, at South I by Southwest. I think there's a giant Tic Tac machine you know, <laughs> we're playing inside it. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. It's kind of like a... Don't mind, yeah, look, don't mind us. Look for <laughs> just, right jump, next, just jump right back in with a question. Uh, <laughs> look for it right next to the Charmin Comfort Station. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys, each band member could be a different flavor of Tic Tac, what would you be? Vomit. Vomit? Joe? Cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> well, he took mine, so I don't have one now. <laughs> Earwax. So that was my strip. Brains. <laughs> Wait, so we have brains, vomit, Cinnamon, which is a real flavor, I think. Uh, what about orange? The orange tic I like the orange ones. Orange was best, yeah. actually, yeah, and they're they good were. for you as well. The, the ones with all the vitamins. Yeah, they've got vitamin C. Mm. This is, real, this is a point. real major power play for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Tick or Mr. Tack are listening. Mm-hmm. They're watching right now. They're going to pull a limo up to the studio. Watching? And, yeah. What do you mean? 
Yeah, yeah, but why it's live. We are live, you know, being watched by the, the Tic Tac brothers, whatever they may look like. <laughs> um, hopefully they are just a giant anthropomorphized uh, in my sandwich. Well, me and Joe are working on the look, so yeah. <laughs> already. They've already got the Tic Tac haircut. If you just paint your heads, uh, I guess, yeah. orange and green and, and red, then you'll... Sit them out in the sun for a bit, it'd be cinnamon. <laughs> You know, I could talk Tic Tacs all day, but uh, why don't we hear another song? Uh, yes, Tracy's going to sing this one. It's called uh, Had Enough. <laughs> Watching Audio Tree live. We are live in the studio with Waco Brothers, soon to be named the Tic Tac Haircuts. Uh, you, uh, you guys have always been a uh, very political in your lyrics, but you're clearly also very funny people. Also, um, clearly, when, when writing, so I like Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a little more intentionally than him. I think you're all you're all huge Trump supporters. I'm guessing, right? Uh, very worried. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it got very dark. Scared. Very got, scared. Got dark in here all of a sudden. I am. What I am are you scared a loser? Also. You some kind of loser? <laughs> you're, you're, you're a choker. <laughs> and he's a basket case. You don't like the all caps. And, and he's, uh, a, he's a girl. Sad. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, so when writing political songs, do you think it's more important to be angry or humorous? Um, I think there's a bit of, bit of both in mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah. I don't know if there's that much kind of flat out anger. Mm -hmm. It's always, do you feel like people listen more? It's, more, it's like funny? a description. Maybe it's a, it's a description of someone else's anger sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or there's some sort of self-righteous kind of chest beating occasionally. But we try to suppress that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the humor definitely helps it stray away from the preachy sort of... Uh, definitely. You don't want to be a miserable gits, you know. I mean, we're in the entertainment business, after all. <laughs> showbiz. <laughs> no, it's showbiz. It's Hollywood Tracy Deer there. Miserable <laughs> sounds. <laughs> don't, want to, don't want the audience to kill themselves. And, you know, sponsorship <laughs> opportunities like Tic Tac, you know, you can't be too controversial if you're going to be oh, the Tic Tac people. Clack. <laughs> Maybe Trump and Tic Tac will, will endorse you after watching Trump this. Tac. <laughs> And he's going to steal that from you now if he, if he sees this. And there's a good chance he'll see this probably, right? He's watching it. Yeah, he watches everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah he does. He's live tweeting this right now. <laughs> he's just going to say, Waco Brothers, sad. <laughs> Tic Tac, sad. <laughs> Make America great again. <laughs> um, let's, uh, speaking of America, let's play uh, another song uh, going down history. <laughs> Up everything. 
something Gotta find something to put in its place Could walk before you can fall down on your face Gonna bite the hand that feeds you Watching Audio Tree Live. We are in the studio with Waco Brothers. Uh, Dean, if I may ask, what's the emblem on your guitar strap uh, right below the button? Right below the button? It's, yeah. uh, it's not well, that Serbian militia thing you wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little uh, longhorn on it, but a friend of mine who, uh, who's into leather. Uh, <laughs> uh, these apparently are, uh, are put on saddles. Mm -hmm. so. she, uh, she gave it to me. I stuck it on my guitar strap because... I'm into it, man. <laughs> Giddy up, you know. <laughs> Did yeah. that happen when you uh, moved to Austin? No. no. I mean, uh, getting back to getting back to your previous question, you'd like to be remembered for his leather work. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of thing that happens in Lost, and you get saddled. That's, That's how he'll go down. That's why the rest of us can't go down there. Um, you're all about to go down there for South, uh, South by Southwest. Uh, beyond playing a million shows while you're there, do you have any plans? I mean, you live there, so it's not. I like to go and watch the dancers at the Broken Spoke. That's very nice. I'm thinking one evening I'll take the guys down by Congress Bridge and have them see the bats. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Where I've never been to Austin. Are there bats under the bridge? Oh, the yeah, Congress Bridge. Yeah. Really? They come out at dusk. Yeah. yeah. They're tiny. They're not like great big ones like you see. They're like these little tiny. But there are millions of them. Millions? Millions of, millions of the little millions buggers. I'm gonna have yes. to go down there. Is that how close is that in proximation to the rest of the festival? It's, it's right very, very close. Everything's it's really right, close. right near the, right near the Tic Tac. Uh, it's also there's a few, it's a few, a few bars I wanted to take in because they have a lot of great uh, sound checks going on in bars. Most streets and usually it's <laughs> guy, a guy sound checking a kick drum for hours. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, coming out oh, of every yeah. bar. Maybe it's just a, maybe really it's good. some sludge metal band that's actually they're not sound checking, it's their actual set going on. Joe Camarillo's bass <laughs> drum. <laughs> that's Big your, drum. That's your solo side project, right? <laughs> yeah. Great. Um cool, let's go into uh, the last song then. Oh, all right. 
Unless you want to talk some more, we can. Last song, or are we on the second to last song? I think this is the last. I think this is the last one. All right. I know you guys, your songs are short in a good way, so I, it feels like we haven't gone <laughs> through. Yeah. <laughs> you just noticed that, actually. Yeah, they're over before yeah. I know. It feels like we, I feel like I haven't gotten five songs yet, but we like have. Like a non-jam band. Yeah, the opposite of the, the bass drum sound checking. Yeah. Efficient. Efficient. <laughs> this is the devil's day. Watching Audio Tree Live, we are in the studio with Waco Brothers. Thanks so much to the band uh, for performing. You can get their new record going down in history now. It's out today. Uh, we want to wish them best of luck in Texas as well. Uh, thanks to all the awesome people in the studio, um, our sound and lighting engineers. Thanks to the, the crew. Uh, and thank all you viewers for watching. You can support the band also by downloading the session from our website or streaming it online. Send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to reach out and connect. Uh, from all of us here in the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>